if you still need to lean on self-support you can't journey with God because the self-support is a trap to keep you away from living by faith and trusting the God of the whole earth for the supply that he has for you if you are leaning on Tobacco's on Jabba's music say no it's, it's not, there's nothing wrong with listening to this kind of musical this music it heals the soul it doesn't cost God ah, so we can stay here you are Jabba's prisoner because you are trying to use your human brain to generate a middle line where it doesn't exist you are a victim of the system hi i am confidence moses welcome to premium ninja tv hello guys welcome back to premium ninja tv my name is abinis if you are coming across our channel for the first time please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon ladies and gentlemen i know you've been wondering what's the secret behind the success of most of these our preachers now but i have this particular one to tell you for free and it is about apostle arome osai and the secret is very simple and it is very transparent and this is fasting is the secret of apostle arome osai he has a message for all of us why you should stay connected with god always listen to him and after that tell us what you have to say about this in the comment section if you still need to lean on self-support you can't journey with god because the self-support is a trap to keep you away from living by faith and trusting the god of the whole earth for the supply that he has for you if you are leaning on tobacco's on jabba's music say no it's, it's not there's nothing wrong with listening to this kind of musical this music it heals the soul it doesn't cost god ah so we can stay here you are jabba's prisoner because you are trying to use your human brain to generate a middle line where it doesn't exist you are a victim of the system are you there oh my so everyone that is going to work for jesus we need to be a traveler like abraham please help me tell your neighbor no one of us will remain at home <laughs> god had to call abraham he said get thee out of thy country get thee out of thy kindred get thee out of thy father's house because everything has been polluted by this civilization you cannot grow in my ways in that context you will need to travel out i hope you know what god was telling abraham to do it means go to the Ghana immigration service and tell them sorry can you delete my name from the lexicon of of Ghanaians I'm no longer a Ghanaian then they will delete your name then you go to your village during New Year festival and as they are trying to do the celebration you now call your clan head and say gather the whole family delete my name from the family tree imagine that i am cut off i've died you know that night witchcraft will start that the, that night then you now go to your father and say papa i'm no longer your son abraham had to disconnect from everything that supported his existence hitherto to journey into another civilization the Bible says he sought a city that had foundations. He sought a city whose builder, whose maker was God. He sought another civilization. And he was asking God, I have seen the city that Cain has built. Where is your city? No one will stay at home. The sons of Abraham must travel. They must journey through spiritual pathways and they are they don't mind if you persecute them they don't mind if you exclude them from the family 
of, of, of blessings and possibilities they need to journey under the influence of the voice of God I pray tonight that you find enough courage to take your journey from that place where Satan has mastered you to the place where God wants to take your life and to perfect your destiny if you are still here shout Amen you may be seated and Zila she also bare to Balkan an instructor of every artificial in brass and iron and the sister of Tubakin was Nama for further studies study Nama next verse Lamech was the first man that committed oh he was the second man that was guilty of manslaughter no Cain huh? was guilty of murder are you with me Lamech was guilty of manslaughter I know I hope you know in law it's not exactly the same thing although in both cases somebody died huh? now and Lamech said unto his wives Ada and Zillah hear my voice ye wives of Lamech hearken unto my speech for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my heart. Yes, next verse. If king shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. I don't want to open this scripture because this scripture reveals the position of the justice system of heaven. Whether you are non believer, you drink blood, you are still under, you are still subject to the justice system of heaven. Whether you believe in Satan, you believe in idols, it doesn't clear out the impact and the implication of the justice system of heaven. When your life is accomplished on this earth, there is one penal code through which justice and judgment will be meted out to you. I don't have time for this because I will need to take you to Genesis chapter 4, verse 8, before we now visit this. Then you will now see that on the pathway of this city, are you with me? this civilization that Cain created they are curses because of violations trespasses iniquity and I hope you know there's a difference between sin iniquity trespass and transgression and their consequences are different these guys in following Satan Satan was leading them to commit atrocities iniquities trespasses and each trespass has its own penalty from the perspective of the justice system of heaven so there are two civilizations some people have decided to operate apart from God the ones that were left discovered the technology of prayer God said let us make man in our own image and after our own likeness it was when Jesus came that Jesus began to reveal to us give us insight about man first insight Jesus gave about man connects with this scripture first insight he gave is in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1 Luke chapter 18 verse 1 Jesus was there in the council of the Godhead when the idea of man came came up so he knew what the Godhead had in mind and there were a few scriptures in the Bible where Jesus unveiled the indices about man one of them was Luke 18 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to fail according to design men were created as creatures of prayer and you see what the lineage of set discovered they discovered 
the original purpose and men for the first time began to call upon the name of the Lord so there are two kinds of people on this campus they are, they are the rolling stones the reggae rags no God let's just move if what the devil is saying today is fornicate go and look for one loose lady if he's saying drink all this yeah, that's how we'll be going then the second set of people are those that have decided that we will give ourselves to intercession so right now you can know where you are because the opposite of prayerful is not prayerless it is fainting because men ought always to pray and not to the opposite is faint if you are in a state of fainting it means you avoided prayer that suggests that you are in the other camp because by design you were created a creature of prayer i told you the other day that according to the royal decree are you there man is in charge of the earth realm and if any spirit is going to have his way here man will have to permit him so prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference and god said you were designed to be a creature of prayer so perpetually and always you are praying giving god the permission to invade your space that's part of your duty if if can, have you ever heard that cry of, from the holy ghost and I sought for a man because God wanted to do something and because there was no man the thing was hindered the true men according to the image and the likeness of God are creatures of prayer men that have been corrupted by the wisdom of the second heavens are serving self self support self entertainment self-defense men that were created in the image of god and men are creatures of prayer and prayer is not what they do past time prayer is not a key prayer is a life yeah, i know you attend a seminar they say first key is prayer prayer is not a key it's a lifestyle for men ought always to pray and not to think if that scripture doesn't sound like the description of your life it means that you have been you are a victim of the city called nord anything that has stopped you from being a prayer warrior while you are this young i assure you if you don't master prayer now you will never pray yes when you get that employment in that bank and you are balancing accounts from morning till 7 pm you will backslide because you didn't develop anything upon which you'll be able to build the every the edifice and the superstructure of your life and your destiny i worked in the oil industry for 16 years i worked offshore many times i learned how to fast on the job because i used to fast on campus one of my friends was the fasting machine he does 21 days dry fasting on campus so he came to me and said god did not create so much power in my life if not i would have found it that's him that's it that much he said it, it, it didn't give me power if not i would have found it but he gave you power talk re, re, referring to me he said go and find it the guy could fast he could fast hey he said go and find him so he's the one that insisted that i begin to fast the first three days dry fasting i did the things i saw i didn't understand it i went back to him i said this is strange what kind of strange he said ah fast again until it became a lifestyle yes yes then I started fasting 100 days, 200 days, 264 days. Yes, because men ought always to pray. 
some of you you will not be able to break that yoke of fornication on your life until you are determined to go like 80 days the day the thing breaks you will know oh you are just sitting down and expecting good things to happen to you i came to tell you that satan is alive mm. so yeah so you are expecting good things that is when i finish i'll go here they'll give me a car i will be honing in the market wake up <laughs> oh man not always to pray my my friend taught me fasting and prayer i started fasting I started fasting for that whole year I, god didn't speak the next year i continued i continued and while i was writing my last paper on campus he came yeah that was where it all began those were the days when i asked the holy ghost i want to see you make yourself visible let me see those days it's okay 5 a.m go and stand so 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 please stand there and wait for me 5 a.m so i woke up before five went there the holy ghost i know you will not believe huh okay Forget it. <laughs> it's cancer <laughs> Yes, a time came I knew him and the moment I knew him prayer became easy fasting became easy because I was doing praying and fasting on his energy on his strength yeah I will be spending his energy to do it so it, it wasn't a challenge anymore. oh I entered into a new economy sin can be in the entire place but it won't touch me because I went deeper I went deep I went deep so the products that you're advertising, I, I didn't see it. I'm seeing something else. And when Satan sees that you refuse to dwell in the city of North, he makes you a target. Because he knows that you can open the eyes of every occupant of that land and lead them out of that city. He knows that. He will hunt you. And the cure for Satan is go deeper in God. So we continue going deep. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you stories. I've seen demons, territorial spirits, principalities. I've seen them. I've seen them. If I tell you some things, you'll be afraid. The attacks, the darkness that fell upon me. And you know where light came from? Light didn't come from heaven. Light came from inside of my spirit. Inside. Before you know it, he has attacked my wife. Before you know it, he has attacked my son. I went deeper. So the cure is go deeper. For in those days, men began to call upon the name of the Lord. The question is, when will you begin your own? People are big. People, they began in the days of Seth. When will you begin? Your prayer adventure i can tell you stories i can show you places spots where jesus spoke to me audibly if i take you to the north in nigeria places where angels appear to me i can take say, this, this and they didn't come and disappear they were there for three hours oh Jesus has appeared to me five times, five times, five times. I'm not talking about a vision, no, the one you see in the spirit, no. Go deeper. Please help me tell your neighbor, go what? Deeper. When you go deeper, you will not need to ask for power. Like this evening, I didn't ask for power. 
no i just say what are you saying today then the scripture came let us make man that was all so i knew the other ones as long as i have that scripture i can heal the sick i don't need to ask will you come will, no no and some days the anointing can be so strong that even the dead can be brought back to life we were called because this is africa's time of focus sons and the daughters of africa will set the stage for the glory of god and so each and every one of us will need to take our journey from that city of darkness and like abraham we will navigate through spiritual pathways in search of our inheritance the days of hard measures and talk and impurity are over god has sent an alarm for the puritans and the nazarites men whose garments are not stained to align with him because he wants to do damage to the kingdom of darkness in the territory will you line up with god or you continue in that strange city will you line up with jehovah or you continue in that strange place upon the name of the Lord if you lived in the days of Cain on which side will you be I chose my side long ago I will stand with the men and the women of prayer and will keep praying until God will break through the heavens and answer us oh we will not be weary we will keep praying calling upon the name of the Lord until he comes the altars of darkness in your family will suddenly wither the liabilities of causes will be broken the light will shine out of darkness the prayer point tonight is simple I join my forces with the intercessors in the place of prayer I will be a man of prayer I will be a woman of prayer I will be standing I will be standing and calling upon the name of the Lord and the Bible says Upon the name of the Lord, the shall be saved. This is the night to leave the strange city and to join the intercessors.
industry for 16 years 
I walked offshore many times. I learned how to fast on the job because I used to fast on campus. One of my friends was a fasting machine. He does 21 days dry fasting on campus. So he came to me and said, God did not create so much power in my life. If not, I would have found it. That's him. That's it. That's my friend. He said, he didn't give me power. If not, I would have found it. But he gave you power. Talk, re, re, referring to me. He said, go and find it. The guy could fast. He could fast. Hey! He said, go and find him. So he's the one that insisted that I begin to fast. The first three days dry fasting, I did. The things I saw, I didn't understand it. I went back to him, I said, this is strange. What kind of strange? He said, ah, fast again. Until it became a lifestyle. Yes. Yes. Then I started fasting 100 days, 200 days, 264 days. Yes. Because men ought always to pray. Some of you, you will not be able to break that yoke of fornication on your life until you are determined to go like 80 days. The day the thing breaks, you will know. Oh, you are just sitting down and expecting good things to happen to you. I came to tell you that Satan is alive. Hello friends, so what do you have to say about this special sermon from Apostle Larome Osaye? And you know, as a child of God, you have to stay connected with God always in prayers. Just don't forget to tell us what you have to say about this video in the comment section. And also click on the subscribe button.